nice and early. It is 6.30. So we're going down to pick up the camera crew and then head to S&C and on to boxing and um, footwork because I can't actually punch it. We're getting it, so yeah. Welcome to Dragon Days. Like the shit up. Nice to have a cameraman back. New camera look, so all he can do is nice, like cinematic slow moves. <laughs> Sorry, find an increase yeah, on my card, It's got 120 frames per second. Look nice. The zoom in on recent ball there. Uh, what well, you get? You're doing your stupid lifting faces in, in slow mo. Right? So let's go. One of the problems that we do have when um, I'm lifting is um, I'll ask Reese to film a little so bit and clips me. Sorry. Right, so switch on that because you're going off to the side. Yeah, no worries. I asked Reese to film little bits and clips for me. Reese has a fetish for zooming in on my lifting faces. So instead of actually doing some actual footage I can use, he just films me grunting on my lifting faces. I reckon he's vlogging it all, making money. Molly, you can send those to you, right? You can put them in the, <laughs> put them in the video. Yeah, please do. <laughs> just a collage of my lifting faces. Right, I'm filming again now. <laughs> Always good to give up a warning. End up saying something nasty about Reese or one of his Reese's fetishes. The focus is hamstrings and glutes. Big toes. I gotta switch on because um, I think uh, Ness is boys to actually watch the videos. So I have to make sure I'm doing good form. Just tell how good Ness is as a she bunch of loads of physios. Yeah, she shushed me as well, didn't you? So if the boys are watching, I know she actually shushed me. Well, not even Maddie would do that, would she? Oh, she would. Maddie's. <laughs> I can't really say anything about Ness, so can I say stuff to Matt? When someone's in charge of recovery, you can't exactly. Doing a little bit low. I see Reese puts some equipment back. What's that? She says, I see you putting some equipment back. You look good. Can you just stand there? What do you oh, mean? I'm TikTok an athlete. Look at my TikTok. And I am letting you good TikTok videos because you keep just taking videos of my face all the time. I meant for that video. We did I did a TikTok video yesterday. I know, that's a reels and I've got to save it. So it's my fault. Man. I know. Oh. Amateur hour. Right, um, let's get this switch. You like this one on? Zoom in on the face, right? <laughs> oh, wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him why, Reese? A little background info? No, not really. No, just to stretch your shoulders out. There's nothing exciting about this one. People are going to be watching this now and be like, these boys aren't actually doing anything nice and see. No. Just take videos of each other's faces. Like, <laughs> if you are watching home and waiting to see me like squat like 900 kilos and deadlift like yeah, 400, it's not, happening. it's not happening. I'm still in recovery. This is rehab day, something like 40. Yeah, Greg, if you're watching, you've got a video of uh, Mason's face on your way. Greg, don't watch videos of me, man. Crazy, too much of you. Right, let's do your squats with the uh, you want heel elevated, all right? Slow. Slow and controlled. Focus on your center. Headlining, yeah? Aspinall's headlining, and then you've got a um, hook 
going uh, on Alan. Um, Jack. Um, oh, well, uh, oh, no, Leon Edwards is the overlook. Yeah, no, it's a fair point. So I will comment on this actually for people looking at home. Um, UFC isn't all about fighting ability, which is something sa it's sad that you have to talk, it is needed to be talked about. It's all about your social media presence, your presence in the actual cage, um, octagon, and uh, it, yeah, it's all about like what you do with your fights. And um, obviously for me, I haven't actually done the, that well as I'd want to do so far, but it's about building up a push behind you and building up a following so that they can't actually say no. Um, Arnold Allen is one, probably one of the best featherweights in the featherweight division. Should have had a title fight a long time ago. He's on the longest win streak in the featherweight division, but because uh, because he is who he is, he just hasn't had that title fight yet. Same as Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards is obviously should be getting his title shot soon, but it is what it is. Plus, he's not the only one have, so that's just something most people want to deal with. I think he beats Burns. I do. Reese the Burns, Gilbert Burns fan. Too deep. Too fan. Big toe. First person I've seen who I think could do wild ramp middleweight. Because I don't think it's easy to go from middle to middle. It's normally fairly lightweight. He's a lightweight like that middleweight, does he? Really? Not sure. Half the speed. Legs like burn, Reese. Good. Half the speed again. Way too fast. Fast. There we go. That's what we're talking about. One more. Right, good. Charlie, you're in a mate, Nicky Naj like. Alright, just magnifies the heat. You ain't turning on my face. Ah. He's not zooming on this, I'm going. Not yet. Save that for another. Um, right, we need. Ah, oh, your jumps. You're low. Low level jump. Low amplitude. Right, what were we saying about the landing? Yeah, for sure. Not too far. No, no, both feet. Take about jumps. Hmm? Take about jumps. Think about jumps. People are going to be sad, I'm thinking, oh my god, this boy does nothing in the gym. No one might be fighting to jump over the bars. <laughs> right, so when you, so you jump now, like the one on your knees, try and then, right? That's better. We don't have to push them out, but we don't want them collapsing in it at the minute, right? Well, that's all. Okay. Nice up in the rest periods to be here. Front raises, pull aparts, and the neck. Fifteen? Fifteen on each. Oh. So, one of the good things that if um, I can get this cab out sorted in Team Alpha Male is that Reese, because he's got a flexible work schedule now and he's doing a lot of remote work, means he can come out, help me with my lifting, help me with my programming. Um, help me with my contact with the coaches and just makes my life fucking so much easier. As well as help me focus on what I should be doing, which is one of the things Reese does really good. Uh, which is if I if I've trained crazy hours of the week and and I think I'm starting to feel a little bit burned out, or if I am in a bad place, or if I got a little bit of injury, rather than just take a day off and feel shit, I message old Baldy and be like, oh look, this is what I've done, this is what's happening, this is how I'm feeling. What do you think I should do when, obviously, Reese will give me the go and train, push yourself, or the take a day and rest, which sort of uh, helps keep you concentrated and helps make sure that you don't feel like you're uh, pecking on Right, so, I bet you all think it's terrible though. Reese is getting married, and I wasn't even invited. No. Reese don't want me there. Last person on the invitation list. Probably your best man, to be honest. <laughs> Absolutely no chance. Uh, Can you imagine this fact, dude? I wouldn't even go. 
but I just kidnap you and just leave you somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're not coming. <laughs> yeah, South Africa, like. <sighs> well, let's like the most boring stuff to that's my, that's down to me. She got skydiving or something? Yeah, Could have gone skydiving. No chance. It's something fun. That's <laughs> not fun. It is fun. I want to go back skydiving. I used to. I'll see. I'm going to be going. That's what you one. need. When you go skydiving, you don't have to come in, with you. I haven't been in three years. Oh, you can come with you and film you. <laughs> Crying on the <laughs> <way>. <laughs> No chance. <laughs> There's a place to actually Ollie, want to go do when yeah, I get money. Or you could have the GoPro go on the head, chest. You know, you've got to do a few jumps to be able to do that though. You've got to do a lot of jumps to be a cameraman. No, but honestly, you'd have... No, but there's a course you can do um, where you go to the Netherlands and in three weeks they, you do something like... Shit, it's like 500 jumps. So I'll lead to Tiffany, there we go. So I'm going to play me then, you'd be sick. Travel sick from going up so fast. Editing all that GoPro footage, that'll be fun. <laughs> just crying. Oh, yeah, just be. Oh, yeah, just be ah! And uh, edit out Ollie's crying. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, um, when you start, like I only did 30 something jumps, which is anyone who's done skydiving knows is nothing. But, um, like, you start getting to a place where, unless you, you're actually doing the targets and you, like, you set yourself what you're going to do, you end up just falling out of the plane and you just, think, you just contemplate the knife on the way down. Just being in like, oh, oh this is, this is boring, man. <laughs> and I know, always aim for the bushes, man. You'd be good at curling, man. Maybe I'll make the Olympics, like. Not so. Right, that's bad already. Just slow it down now. I felt I was doing these with tens at one point. <laughs> I did. The templates. The white ones. The fives. They ain't fives. Are they? Those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fives ain't no tens. Prices? I found them.
When I start wearing something decent, man. Cheers, Jebbles! Stay safe, yo! Stay safe, Ed, as soon as I start slipping punches, he'll put me on a wall. Bear in mind, that last fight, I, I was fucking, I had literally, I had flu in, like, felt like flu. My ribs, my chest was all fucked, my knee was fucked. And, like, it wasn't good. But I, like, I did enough to get so I got there by the end. He, he came in, and I went, I went up to the end, but, like, at least, said I showed him what he went. Well, yeah, he said, if you ask me to get in, he said, just don't tell him I'm the boxing coach. I just don't say no! And he said, don't tell him, you know, just leave me to the Bear in mind, I didn't go out the cage, man. I didn't even say, like, one and all. I fucking laugh my head off. You first start laughing, didn't you? Like. You'll always bring your feet back on the ground. Oh, always. Okay. Yeah. It was good, though, because I needed it, because I needed a laugh, because I did feel gutted. Because, like, I wanted to impress, and then I was thinking, just. I hit him about five shots, dropped him, before I got him, chased him up, and then just couldn't breathe. Just that was it, like. I've never got that, like, ah. Need to get this in before I forget again. So I filmed the rest of the video with Ollie last week. I think it was last week, convenient, but before last week. And uh, all I had to do was send an exit video and I've been a little bit busy doing nothing. So um, let's get this done. Um, exciting things ahead. Obviously, uh, I know I haven't been as regular with my videos as I should be. Um, just getting over this injury and different things. So it's been a nightmare to get back into it, but um, We've got to get back to it, got to get back to crowing and um, back pushing like it's going to be a big year for us. 
So we've got London coming up. Sorry, hang on. We got London Cage Warriors, um, London UFC. Uh, we've got Cage Warriors Academy. We've got Stand Up War be the week before all that. Um, and then um, I've got the horse races that the weekend after before I go home. So literally I'm going to be busy all the weekend moving forwards as well as obviously I'm picking my training up. I'm back training um, three times a day. So um, you're going to see a lot more videos, a lot more content and a lot more. Um, well, just try and get a bit better content because my content did dry up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting places. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. We're almost on... 2,000 something uh, subscribers, not sponsors. Close enough, you are helping me pay for things. Uh, not much in the minute, but we're getting there. Um, but yeah, please share, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, tune into the next one. Thanks, guys.